Okay, so today we are doing a real quick camo tumbler on this 20 ounce traditional. So I have just a regular old piece of grocery store brand plastic wrap that I'm going to scrunch up. I have a couple little pieces handy and I have a whole bunch of colors of ink. I have Tim Holtz lemonade and it doesn't really matter what colors you use. I have the Pinata Sunbright Yellow. The goal is just going to be to get a whole bunch of inks on the thing. I have a little bit of black and some brown, but I'm going to leave those for last and I'm going to use them sparingly. I have Mojito from Tim Holtz. And this is another one of those cups I pretty much never do the same thing twice. so. Uh, Rainforest Green from um, Pinata. Definitely wear gloves. I have one more lighter green that I'm only going to use a tiny bit of. This one's citrus. It's lighter, but it's darker if that makes sense. It's greener. I have butterscotch, which is a brownish orange tone. And then I have Calabaza Orange from Pinata. And I know it's looking like a muddy mess. Don't freak out on me. Don't panic. That's why I don't use a lot of brown or black because it gets so much on its own. I have Tim Holtz Espresso. I'm going to hold off on adding any actual black. I'm only going to do that if I feel like I need it. So I'm going to get my cup in here. And when I do these, I don't wrap them and let them dry. I work them while they're wet. So I can blend and change as I go. So... That's going to become a personal preference thing. So I'm going to pull it off. And I'm actually going to basically rewrap it immediately. Scrunch it some. I will keep doing that until I am satisfied with the pattern all over. I will just start holding that plastic wrap that is now only semi-damp in my hand. Because ultimately this is the look I'm going for. Eventually it will start to dry out and get sticky, sticky. That's when my smaller pieces will come into play. Because you don't want to get it so sticky that you end up pulling your um, white back off your cup. So... And now I haven't addressed the bottom at all yet. That's going to require some fresh ink. I do like to have my drying rack available to move these to um, while I'm working. So I'm going to still use this one to do the bottom real quick. So that's just going to be a quick freshen it up. And I'm just going to pounce it off the bottom repeatedly. 
then as it starts to dry, we'll repeat a little bit. I do want a little bit more orange in there, so I'm going to do just the butterscotch and orange for a minute. bounce this some more around the cup. And again, just work it until you are satisfied. Alright, so that piece is getting a little bit big and nasty. So I'm going to set this down again. And I do have a lot of green on there at the moment, so I'm going to do just the yellows. And the orangier colors. And a little bit of the brown. And I do want some bigger crinkles in this. because I do want some more um, depth and dimension and color. I actually wish I'd prepped two cups so I could have done two of these. This one's for a customer order, but hindsight, now I'm wishing that I had done one for retail because I don't. And now I've got not enough green, so we're going to fix that in a minute. And I don't like how there's no lines here at all. So I'm going to kind of unscrunch this a little bit. Maybe not all the way. And I'm just going to go back in with green and the brown darker green. And again, literally just keep going over it until you get what you want. I'm going to put this back over where it's super wet just to get some texture back in there. Because I do want that leafy camo-y texture. bottom again. So, um, I'm going to do a little bit more 
I know. That's my brown. back to you because I don't want it that wet going into it this time. So scrunch it up and decide where you want to work more. When it's wetter is when you're going to get more of your lines doing it this method. And a lot of this cup is getting covered with um, somebody's personal pictures, so it's kind of... Um, it's kind of really not going to matter in the long run. So, I think I'm actually pretty happy with that. I wish I had a little bit more of the texture to it, so I may try to um, it's hard to tell sometimes which side your inks are on, but I believe they're on this side. So, I'll scrunch it again. I just want to add some more of the orange and the yellow and browns. No, no more green because there's a ton on here. Okay. What I am going to do is I'm going to use that has alcohol in it. This is a mini mister. It has alcohol in it. I'm going to spritz this and that is going to reactivate some of these inks. And I'm going to scrunch it up. I only want the tiniest bit of alcohol because I don't want to um, take off what's already on the cup. But I'm going to go ahead and almost wrap the cup again. But do you see how doing that gives me more of my bigger branch type look? So I'm going to give it another mist. So now I feel like I have enough texture in here, or almost enough texture in here, for the look I was going for. So I do want to do that once to the bottom. Let's see, it's dry so it's pulling. I'm going to spritz, spritz again, maybe not my hand this time. And there we go. That is it. Quick camo, saran wrap method, and inks. 
So I will let this dry well. I'm actually headed out right now. So um, once it's dry, I'll put a coat of epoxy on it and then I'll go ahead and do my pictures. Wear gloves. You don't want this on your hands. Trust me. <laughs> so that is it. That's all you're going to see of this one. If you want to see completed camo cups, if you go back in my library, you can find some more. Thank you.